day four in Baxter. paid off big time rained all night but look at this glorious morning South Branch Pond it's amazing it's so peaceful so this morning we're gonna pack everything up we're gonna have breakfast I might come back down here and go for a swim to be honest and pack up and hike into Russell Pond it's about nine miles, and then we're going to camp there for a couple nights. It should be amazing. So we solved the missing dock question. There is a section of the old dock right there, and look at all that new wood. And there is the rest of the dock, the old dock, the wheels new section. Today's weather is up. They radio in to get this every morning. Tuesday, September 14th, 6, 12 a.m. Cloudy, 70% chance of rain and morning thunderstorms. Tonight, cloudy, 20% shower. Tomorrow, sunny. And Saturday, 70% rain and thunderstorms. We're out of here on Saturday. Good stuff. Headed down to the water where we are going to set up our chairs and go for a swim and have our breakfast. are all packed up and getting ready to hit the trail. The trail we're taking is Poggy Notch Trail all the way to pretty much it's this one trail all the way right? Yes. All the way to Russell Pond and that trail begins on the opposite side of the campground South Branch Campground um, from the ranger station. That same trail brings you to a lot of other places, one of which the Traveler's Loop. So, off we go. Nine point six. That's where we're going. Russell Pond Campground, Poggy Notch Trail. And we are registering because it's good for people to know where you're going to be. 
Remember these things when wet, which they are almost always wet, are crazy slippery. So you always want to take your time on these. Gratitude. I'm grateful to be out here to have hopefully regained the physicality to take this on. It's not a very hard trail. So, and of course my pack is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? It's me. It's still frizzle. <laughs> And I still don't know how to pack my damn bag. Extra sets of clothes. Mm. Here's where the junction is for North Traveler Trail. This is not the way you want to take it because they say you should go counterclockwise. This would be make it clockwise if you took this if you took this trail. You are entering Maine's largest wilderness. Your safety is your responsibility. Set a turnaround time. Stick to it. Your destination is your safe return to the trailhead. Rescuers can be many hours in arriving. That's a fact. You can see all this glorious rain. The trail is very wet and muddy, but we expected that. We're estimating the hike to take us four to five hours. Of course, it depends on how much I dilly dally because that's usually the hold up <laughs> videoing or taking photos or whatnot. One of the many beautiful things about this trail is that it does skirt along the side of South Branch Pond off and on. This hike does not have a lot of elevation gain in it at all which is one of the reasons it was attractive to me anyway when planning an alternate to what we were originally planning so because we weren't sure what the weather was going to be today it was expected to be a rain even up until this morning, they anticipated thunder showers coming through early, but they haven't yet. Knock on wood. Coming up over the mountain that we were supposed to be, which is Hamlin Peak, which is one of the six peaks on Katahdin, the mountain itself, would have been quite precarious. And after being caught in a thunder and lightning storm during my through hike, I am not even willing to consider taking any chances with being on a mountain in a thunderstorm. So we are on the opposite end of Lower South Branch Pond. And you can see, look in the center of your screen, that is where we were this morning. There are the canoes. That's the beach we sat at and had our breakfast. So you saw how relatively easy this trail was. Again, you can come here and enjoy this park and not have to hike big, bold mountains. And there's the loon. There's two loons right there. There's one, the left corner of your screen, one. and the other is on the right corner. So here is a trail junction. We're gonna go by Upper South Branch Pond uh, to Russell Pond, eight and a half miles. This also goes to um, the falls and the pools and the upper falls of Howbrook Trail, which are amazing. We did that uh, on our first trip here, so years ago. It's about a six mile overall round trip to go up to Upper Falls because we've gone about a mile and it is, it is amazing. There are beautiful emerald colored pools. 
along the way, like really gorgeous. And at the upper falls is the end of the trail. So it's a, like a dead end. And then you come back through water crossing. Then you come back through and uh, backtrack. Well, so much for keeping our feet dry. <laughs> Yeah, going up. This is Upper South Branch Pond. Over here to the right, that's the portage to Lower South Branch Pond, where we just came from. And I mentioned that there are some cliffs that the kids will jump, climb up and jump off of. These are the cliffs I was talking about. They climb up out of the water over here, like out of their canoes or kayaks or whatever, paddle boards, and they climb up to these cliffs and then jump into the lake. It's a pristine lake. You can see right through to the bottom. It's really beautiful and there's nothing here. There are some remote tent sites uh, around the, the lake. You can't see them from here. They're on, like on the other side of that tree and then over here to the left. This straight in front of me in the middle of your screen is South Branch Mountain. We hiked that last year and then hiked over to Black Cat Mountain, which is the next one. I believe it's Black Cat but we did a big, huge loop and it was really cool. We'd never been up there before. Some pretty cool views. But I would say if you're into hiking and you're in good shape, Traveler's Loop is a do not miss hike. It's spectacular. It's one of my favorite hikes. I'm about ready to do that one again. How about you, Jim? 2025. <laughs> 2025? Yeah. What happened to 2024? <laughs> and Katahdin's over there in the clouds somewhere. And here's another trail junction. This, I believe, is Traveler's Loop and Poggy Notch Trail. Yeah, so we're going to continue on this way to Poggy Notch Trail on Poggy Notch Trail. It says Russell Pond Campground 8.1. This, the peak of the ridges is an amazing, amazing summit. That's probably my favorite in the Traveler Loop. There's so many false summits going up there. Let me tell you, it's a really steep climb too, but it's awesome. Peak of the ridges from the summit, you can see Katahdin. Grateful for the breeze. It's keeping all the little pests away. <laughs> it's beautiful beautiful day. We're talking to Gabe, the ranger up at South Branch, who is awesome. And he was telling us, I guess that hurricane, I'm not sure if it's Hurricane Lee or what, the hurricane's coming in this weekend. So we'll be out of here by then. Home with our puppy. <laughs> They're so cute. Beautiful birch forest. There's the pond. Look at all those birch trees. Aren't they beautiful? Birch and pine, those are my favorites. The pine trees that I love are the tall, skinny ones that are mostly up around here in northern Maine. Look at that! Holy cow! That's cool. Oh, wow. Whoa. Look what are 
those. And here is the picnic area. And Russell Pond is seven and a half miles from here. Is this where we want to have lunch? Yep. Awesome. Let's go. So we are at the far end now of Upper South Branch Pond. And there are some tent sites over there across from here. There, I believe, over on that shore. You can hike into them or you can canoe or kayak. Beautiful. South Branch Campground, which is where we are not going. And Russell Pond, that's where we're headed. So this is new trail to us, right? Yes. Yep, because we've come back down the other way. But we have never gone this way before, so this will be cool. Just came across this little boulder field. Not bad. You just got to go slow because it's mossy and you don't want to slip, obviously. Check that out, how that tree twisted and fell. Like what did, what on earth happened to make it twist like that? That's wild. You can't even cut that. I bet the torque would freaking make it boomerang or something. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's wild. It is huge. Poop. Ooh. Keep your eyes peeled. It does look fresh. It smells like Christmas trees in here. moss on the tree. Almost looks like kale. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's wild. soaked because I just walked through that whereas he can step over and around he's got longer legs it's just easier Ugh. <laughs> we just went through this like huge boggy area like if there was ever gonna be a moose that came out of nowhere that was it Some bear scat here. It's not big at all. 
if you look at it next to my foot, but. Pond lean to is two tenths of a mile this way. So this must be Poggy Pond that we're passing. And we are three and a half miles away from Russell Pond. Here we go. Everything hurts right now. <laughs> I guess I, I overestimate myself sometimes. Like, oh, 10 miles, relatively flat terrain, full pack, no problem. Well, scratch that uh, because my feet hurt, my knees hurt, my back hurts. <laughs> All the major things, I guess. So, I'm glad we have a day in between before we get a hike back out. <laughs> oh, wow, isn't that beautiful? And here is Poggy Pond. Wow, really beautiful. Okay, people, this is pretty awesome. That peak right in the center of the screen is Pomola Peak. To the right is Knife Edge, and it's now cloud in the clouds. And over here is Hamlin, and behind those clouds is North Brother and Fort. Baxter Peak is up there. Those clouds just rolled in. Mushroom. Ah. Look at that. Look at that one. Crazy. Amazing. This is beautiful Russell Pond. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. Feels like fall here today.
This is beautiful. The ranger station's way over there. Somebody in the lean to next to us. Here we are at our lean to, lean to number one at Russell Pond. What a great view, huh? I think we're going to get the sunrise in the morning. Maybe go out in the canoe. And we have our humble abode all set up. Very buggy. Um, we're gonna have dinner. Jim's elected to have buffalo, buffalo style mac and cheese. Chicken mac and cheese. I'm gonna have chicken and dumplings because that's what I like. Looking forward to getting some rest and taking some Advil tonight. Really surprised at how much we're hurting. It wasn't like it was a hard nine and a half, ten miles, but it was hard. <laughs> so I guess we are day hikers again. What's that? It's been a bit. It's been a bit, that's for sure. So, felt like it. We have stuff to have a fire. Jim went and foraged. Look at all that. Amazing. Um, but we might just eat. Watch the sun go down and go to bed. We'll see. I bet that guy stings. Look at that. He's like a little porcupine. We're eating our dinner on the dock. Watching the clouds over there rolling in. It's not supposed to rain tonight, so. What a beautiful place this is. I'm gonna go explore in the canoes tomorrow. How's your food? Nice. Good. Awesome. Our little kiosk, which is right behind our lean to, which is awesome. We don't have to go all the way out to the ranger station to get all the information. Yeah, that's right. We're going to walk up to number five right there. So you can right here. Oh, okay. This goes... Wow. So and we get the weather here. We can rent canoes. Awesome. The juror says it's just under 60 right now. Okay. Cool. Now the privies in Baxter are very nice. I don't know if the backcountry ones are also. Wow, not bad. And yes, there's paper. paper. Wow, very nice. We have a men's privy and a ladies privy, which is interesting. So it's a little cool and it's six o'clock and we are in our, we're in our tent. <laughs> I'm ready. You're mummified. Yum. I just remembered I forgot something in my food bag, which is on the bear line. So I gotta go back and get it. <laughs> so annoying. Ooh, that's me. Mm -hmm.